Here we go. We Nope, aerodynamics did not help it there. YouTube, Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Floating Sandbox, and yes folks, we are back once again, and it has been a while since we played this game, but there is a new update, and folks, we have Water Displacement. Now you're probably asking yourself, well what is that? Well, it used to be when you had a ship in Floating Sandbox, you could grab it, chunk it through the air, and when it hit the water, nothing would happen besides the ship getting obliterated. But now, the waves actually interact with the ship, so if we were to kind of bounce it up and down, uh, it can actually create waves, which is a really cool feature. So if we go, we Look at that, you see the waves actually starting to move? That's cool, so I can only imagine what kind of craziness we can do. Also, you can hear the people screaming as we go up, and then we go down, and then we go up, and then we go down. I wonder what this is going to do to stuff like tsunamis. Oh, that's gonna be amazing, and look at that! So yeah, this is the first time they've actually really done this in the game, so it might have some bugs here or there, but I'm really looking forward to the future of the uh, water displacement. Now you know, of course, we're gonna jack with all the simulation settings here in just a second, but I just wanted to show you guys that that is a thing, and I'm pretty sure there's some options with the waves that's gonna make that even more crazy. So that's not the only thing that's been added. We've got new tools, including the rot tool, which, check this out. So if I were to hold this down, I'm holding down shift. Look, we can make it all, like, nasty looking. And it actually, I think, eventually makes it brittle. And yeah, it starts to crack. That's so cool. So that's a new tool, but now we can actually use the scrub, too, because we can scrub the ship and clean it up. I mean, it's a feature. I like it. So, yeah, there was always, like, a scrub button, but I never could really figure out how exactly it worked. I knew it, you could, like, scrub off uh, the rot once it went down uh, into the ocean, but now there's actually a tool to go full-blown crazy with it, which I can only imagine what ultra-violent mode does for this. It probably makes it instantly, like, a big rust bucket. So, that's not all. We've got more features. So, another thing they've added, and this is kind of cool, because you used to be able to, like, attach bombs to the ship, well, they've adjusted it, and they've made it to where you can attach thingies, and the first thingy you can attach to the ship is called the physics probe. So, you're probably asking, well, what's a physics probe? Well, say we stick it here on the Titanic, we go boop. Check this out, we've got a new menu down here in the bottom left, so this is showing, like, the temperature, I think that's in Calvin, and I want to say that's the, uh, the particle's velocity is what that left one's supposed to be. So if you're watching the temperature here, if we grab the heat blaster and we go... Oh, look at that. You can see the temp rising. So you can stick these little probes uh, to the ship and get a good reading on it. So no telling what other thingies they're going to add in the future. Also, it's getting really hot in here, but... We should probably increase the heat. So now, let's see how hot it gets. I got ultraviolet mode. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, and also that's another new feature. So when stuff gets hot, it actually glows. That is amazing. And look at the waves. Oh, folks, this new feature is awesome. If you guys are excited for some more floating sandbox on the channel, Maybe hit that thumbs up button. Also, uh, if you guys are sad that the Titanic once again has been destroyed by Komodo, also hit that thumbs up button. Okay, so I promise not to uh, constantly attack the Titanic. So we're gonna load up some uh, new ships here. At least what I think are new ships. There's so many things in Floating Sandbox now. I really wish there was like some subfolders to break down like what exactly is new because yeah, it says there's nine new items, and I'm like, uh, a lot of this stuff looks new. Like, this Bell X-1, that's a, I think that's a new plane. Uh, there's some new ships that I didn't actually notice. Uh, one being the, uh, the colored magic here. I don't remember this thing. This is a, a really cool cruise ship, so I feel like we want to heat blast this. And of course, I gotta put the new probe on there, because I like this thing. Uh, what other types of thingies do you think we're gonna see next? All right, one more for the heat blaster. What does a ship like this look like heated up? Look at that. I like that a lot. So yeah, it's actually getting uh, hot. You can see the red. And then eventually it's going to start to melt. 
Oh, that's it's such like a almost like a small feature, but it's such a great feature. Like it no longer looks like the ship just kind of just jellos down. Like you actually feel like it's getting hot. Like it looks like it's getting hot. Like look at that. Man, we've got to get a lava ocean and melt one of the ships. This uh, new melting is amazing. I love this effect. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't get old. Also, look at the physics probe. Wait, the physics probe is actually cooling down because it's in the water. What if we heat up the water? So, is there a breaking point to the probe? All right, we've got the water. It's boiling right now. And I just, I can't get over the fact that the, uh, the water is actually rippling and stuff with the ship. Now, another thing they've implemented, they do have aerodynamics. Uh, I don't exactly know what that means. I guess maybe we can pull out the blimp or something here in a little bit. But I don't know if I can actually show the change. I've got to read more into that. Ah, that was cool. So, let's go ahead. We're going to, before we turn this into one big giant lava ocean, I want to play with the waves some and see what's changed. Okay, so we are in ultra-violent mode. So, do the tsunamis look different? I guess the wave maker would be a little bit different now. Huh? Let's trigger the tsunami. Oh, and you can see the fish. They're, uh, they're running right now. Uh, or I shouldn't say running. I should say swimming. Fish don't have feet, Komodo. Okay, so here's the tsunami. It pretty much looks the same. You've got the extra lines in it now. Uh, it's a kind of just a really neat looking effect. What if we start to drive or actually start making the ship go forward? Does that affect the waves any as it starts to cut through them? Uh, you're getting like a little vibrating looking thing, but I don't think it's actually really changing anything. I think it's when something truly like either sinks or slaps down in the water. We'll probably have to slap a plane down in the water. You know, this isn't a very fast tsunami. Look at this. The boat is outrunning it at the moment. Wait, I feel like it's picking up speed. Uh, I swear it's picking up speed. Oh no. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the bilge pumps because we're probably going to need those. Uh, do you guys think it's going to survive? I'm actually curious once it goes up through the way when it yeets through it and comes back down. Like, it should create, like, an impact in the water. You know, at this rate, I think the ship's gonna actually go into the end of the map before this actually happens. So, what we're gonna do, let's go full back. Let's go reverse. Oh, you can see the water's starting to ripple now. It's, so, it's starting to, uh, counter, and it's gonna go whoop. That's cool. So, I wonder how else they can change this. Like, I bet you there's some settings in here that we can make it a little more extreme. And here we go. Oh, that tsunami's getting some momentum. Oh, no. All right, here we go. What's going to happen? And is it going to pull it up through it? Okay, we got the bilge pumps on. Oh, dear. Oh, wow. That was a little bit more violent than normal. Uh, wee! Hold on. So it's going to plunge down in the ocean. Nose first. Wait, it's going to go over backwards. Oh, it almost completed the backflip. And, oh. So the ripples pretty big like i'd like to see a little bit of a, like a splash effect that'd be kind of cool uh what do you guys think about this uh, i really like the implementation of it i feel like uh, it's gonna only get better also by the way do the uh, bilge pumps work upside down wait why is it still moving why do i feel like this thing's not really sinking is it uh okay hold on let's cut the engines off uh hold on, hit the horn oh Wait, why is the horn... Hold on, I need to flip this thing over. Can we save this real quick? Uh, here, let's move it. Uh, uh, oh, wait, where's that wave coming from? Is that just a random rogue wave? Wait, it just bounced off the end of the map. And look, there's a ripple coming back. That's weird. Okay, uh, we need to flip this over. All right, I need to swirl you over. Come on. Oh, no, we pulled it too hard. Oops. Uh, that's my bad. Uh, this side's totally gonna stay up, right? Oh, no. The bottom of it hit a big pillar down here. This is fine. I like how the fish are just trying to get away. I mean, they're probably like, ooh, food. Uh, by the way, I've got to do it. From, uh, the previous episodes, when they added these fish, it's like the most amazing thing to make like a million of them in the water. So, do the fish count as physical items? So, if I do this, does it make the water go crazy? Hold on, let's go boom. Make giant fish, fish speed. Here we go. Is it affecting the water? No, I don't think it is. <laughs> it just looks crazy. Uh, this is amazing. Maybe eventually we'll get that big megalodon. Uh, wow. And they're flying. Wait, are they actually... What? What's this? Uh, where did this ripple come from? Is this from the tsunami or what's happening? 
I'm trying to figure out if the fish are affecting it. You know, the water does look kind of weird. Here, let's uh, reset. No interruptions. And let's see if the uh, water starts to ripple. Uh, maybe the fish are having an effect on it. Yeah, because it doesn't quite look normal. <laughs> it's like vibrating. Okay, so we've got another ship here. I'm trying to figure out if this one's new. This is the ARCC Isle del Sol. Uh, hold on, let's load this. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a laggy boy. Also, wait, what's his horn sound like? Why do they have the horn from War of the Worlds? That's, uh, it's weird. Okay, so I really want to test this, uh, this rot tool out again, but I want to do it in ultra violent settings because I want to see what this does. I feel like this is going to be incredible. Okay, let's see if this makes it a mess. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, the sound. It's like nails on a chalkboard. Wait. Wait, what? Huh? That, that sound though. But it's like it's not doing anything in ultra violent mode. Is this broken? Or am I doing something wrong here? Oh, and we can scrub it and then we can go. Is it even changing it? It is, but it's like it's slower now. What? So ultra violent mode has the opposite effect? Hold on. Did, it, did I break something? There's a chance I broke something. All right, turn that off, hit okay. Uh, is this just a really strong ship? There could be a, maybe a, a couple ships that are a little too strong. Yeah, it's definitely working, but it's not working nearly as good as it did on the Titanic. Ah, okay, I can't do that sound anymore. That sound's actually driving me nuts. This is a laggy boy too, but you know what we do to laggy boys? Uh, we blow them up so they're less laggy. At least I think that's the way that works. It's fine, let's go with some antimatter bombs. There we go, boom, 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 boom. And you know what, for good measure, we're gonna go ahead and stick one of the physics probes on there just to see how crazy it goes. So let's go, boop, there we go. All right, physics probe is up, here we go. Oh boy. Does it heat up whenever the uh, the bombs go off here? Nope, temperature is the same and oh dear. Okay, is it less slaggy? <laughs> oh, wait for it. Oh, you see the ripples in the water, and wait for the big explosion. There we go. That was beautiful. <laughs> you know, I don't think it helped with my lag situation. <laughs> Dear, that's a ton of particles. Okay, so we have to test that rotting out again. Yeah, it seems to be fairly consistent. Like, even in ultra-violent mode, it doesn't seem to affect this that much. Like, maybe the cleaning's a little bit better, but the actual rot tool, I mean... Yeah, it just doesn't look like it's doing much. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yep, this thing is getting pretty nasty looking. There it goes, it's starting to break apart. On, let's uh, color the funnels here. Oh, it's still cool. Its sound is a little annoying, but it's a cool tool, I like it. All right, so we talked about the aerodynamic adjustments or the new model here. Um, I guess we need to get something that's actually powered that can fly. So I know the blimps are powered. So maybe we'll get the Goodyear blimp. I'm trying to look at the planes. Well, the planes are powered too. The AN-12 is powered. So, oh, maybe it's just the lights. So what does aerodynamics mean here? Like, what does it mean for the game? Uh, this is one that I'm probably going to need some people to explain it to me. So maybe you guys know a little bit more about it. I mean, is it flying? <laughs> it doesn't actually turn on. Uh, so let's see if the aerodynamics help it avoid a cliff. Here we go. Whee! Nope, aerodynamics did not help it there. <laughs> I just really wanted to do that, by the way. I wonder if you were to pull something, like, would it just float? No, I think the best way to test this is going to be the blimp. All right, so we have the Goodyear blimp, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Like, yeah, I'm not sure what's happening here, but hold on, let's do this. Maybe it could be the wind and the way it affects stuff now. So we could totally turn the wind up. Uh, let's not modulate it. Let's go ahead and just make it more intense. So is this going to push it back? Uh, I mean, it's pretty intense right now. I feel like it's actually pushing it back. Plus, the, uh, the blimp's pushing forward. So if I set this to stop, does the wind carry it off? I mean, it kind of is. I don't really know what's happening right now. Can we pop the blimp? Is that a thing? If I get a pin, does this pop? Let's go. Oh, nope, that didn't really do anything. It just made a small hole in it. I'm sure this thing can manage with tons of small holes, right? Oh, there we go. We just pinned it to the map. Well, it kind of looks like it's flying now. It's fine. We're just going to go ahead and cut this apart real quick. Let's cut it in half. 
There we go. Oh, man, those pins are working really good right now. Oh, and that's so satisfying to see. There we go. And the little pieces just float off. See? They're all going to heaven. Except for this part. This part's... Oh, that's the part with the people. <laughs> well, we all know where it's going. <laughs> all right, so we're going to load up a preset here. This is the ocean of lava. Oh, yes. This is going to be glorious and... Am I going to be able to place anything in here? Okay, so we're going to attempt to spawn in the laggy boy in here. And this is probably going to be a massive mistake, but it's going to be awesome. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right. Laggy boy spawned. Oh, you can see it slowly heating up. You know, the, uh, I guess the air temp actually isn't that hot right now. It's just the uh, lava. Now, if we turn the air temp up, this thing's going to glow like a light bulb and then disappear, I think. Right now, it's just slowly melting. That is incredible looking, though. Holy man. Okay, now we're really going to make the world truly apocalyptic, though. So let's go over to the, uh, to the air temperature. All right, so water temp can go up a little bit more, and then air temp's going to go woof. There we go. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and reset this bad boy. That looks incredible. Like that new effect with the uh, the way the waves work now, like it just looks like a big blobby mess of melted goo. I like this. All right, reset it real quick. Now let's watch the whole thing heat up. Huh, I feel like this isn't hot enough. Hold on, let's go to uh, make sure it's in ultraviolet settings and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, maybe heat it up a little bit ourselves. Do you need some assistance? There we go, just heat it up. Wow, we're not even getting that real glowing effect. I guess everything's already so hot right now. And oh, <laughs> this doesn't look pretty. Uh, uh oh. No, this is fine. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. We did it. Uh, you know what? Make this even better if we uh, spawned in a tsunami. Wait, I got an idea. So what if we threw this into a, uh, a lava tsunami? Uh, hold on, let's let this thing goop down real quick. Oh, that's so cool looking. The chaos. I love it. All right. So the ship has turned completely white and it's just going down to the bottom of the ocean. So one last thing we've got to do here. Let's go ahead, respawn it. Let's set it up. I know it's already getting hot because of the air temp and let's try to spawn in a tsunami real quick. Also, we're totally going to get the wave maker out real quick. That way we can uh, make this even more intense. All right, so let's pull the waves down in front of the tsunami. We're going to make an ultra mega tsunami. Uh, on, pull it down, pull it down. Come on. Come on. That looks cool. It's going to add a lot to the top here. There it goes. By the way, our ship is on fire because the, uh, the air temp's so hot. What are those lifeboats made out of? <laughs> All right, let's move this bad boy back down. Look at the tsunami. Oh my, that thing is massive. All right, move this bad boy back down. And hold on, let's just yeet it into the tsunami here. Oh, uh, <laughs> that looks cool. And oh, oh, oh. Man, that tsunami's thick. <laughs> what did we just do to the wave? I don't even know what this is. Th this is something. So, I'm not sure what we learned here today. We created one of the weirdest looking tsunamis I've ever seen like this this is like a mega ultra tsunami look how wide it's getting uh, we're gonna let it do its thing here also it's creating some weird spikes up here so we might have broken something but there's a lot of new things in this update uh, we covered most of the main features now as far as new ships like I said if there's any notable ones that I missed uh, comment down below uh, we can always come back to this for another episode but Definitely fun update. Go download it. We'll see you guys next time.